The Ilyushin Il-76, initially developed as a heavy military transport aircraft by the Soviet Union's Ilyushin Design Bureau in the late 1960s and introduced in the early 1970s, became much more than just a cargo and personnel transporter. It was quickly recognized as an optimal platform for specialized missions in the fields of space-related training and research due to its big fuselage volume and durable aerodynamic and structural characteristics. The conversion of the Isle 76 into a flying laboratory and training vehicle to simulate microgravity or weightlessness conditions, which are essential for preparing cosmonauts and astronauts for spaceflight, was one of the most significant adaptations. Before the introduction of the Il-76 based space training aircraft, Soviet efforts to understand and prepare personnel and equipment for space missions necessitated the modification of aircraft such as the 2104 AK. This aircraft was capable of simulating brief periods of weightlessness through parabolic flight maneuvers. However, the cabin's size and performance restricted the extent of the training that could be conducted. This goal was greatly facilitated by the introduction of the IL-76K, a specially modified version of the L-76 cargo aircraft. In the early 1970s, the L-76K was developed as a result of a decision made by cosmonaut Georgi Beregovoy, who recognized the transport aircraft's potential due to its sturdy frame and spacious cargo compartment during his visit to the production plant. The technical plans were promptly drafted by the Ilyushin Design Bureau, and the aircraft program acquired momentum as a result of the dedicated efforts of younger specialists, despite the initial production delays at the Tashkent Aviation Production Association. The IL-76K's capacity to execute parabolic flights, which are occasionally referred to as Kepler parabolas, was the determining factor in its space training capabilities. These flights generate brief periods of weightlessness. The plane would initially climb at a high rate of speed, reaching a maximum altitude, at which point it would transition into a parabolic descent. During this phase, the vertical acceleration effectively counterbalanced gravity, resulting in microgravity for approximately 25 to 28 seconds. Trainees were able to experience brief but repeated periods of weightlessness as a result of the fact that flight personnel typically executed approximately 10 such parabola maneuvers per sortie. This simulated environment was essential for the training of cosmonauts to acclimate to the unique requirements of living and working in space, including the ability to maneuver in zero gravity and operate equipment that functions differently in the absence of Earth's gravity. The IL-76K was meticulously modified and supplied to protect the crew and trainees during these challenging flight profiles, which exposed the aircraft to forces and stresses that exceeded those of conventional flight. To accommodate the severe aerodynamic loads and vertical accelerations that occurred during parabolas, structural reinforcements were implemented. Furthermore, the interior was retrofitted to ensure safety and functionality. Soft padding was installed on the cabin walls and ceiling, additional lighting was installed, and handrails were positioned along the sides to facilitate movement during weightless periods. The crew compartment was manned by a pilot, an engineer, and medical specialists who were responsible for conducting medical experiments and monitoring physiological responses under microgravity conditions. The installation of a spin recovery parachute in response to initial apprehensions regarding potential spin-stall scenarios during the steep descending arcs further underscores the distinctive risks associated with this operational profile. The inaugural IL-76K flight occurred in 1981, and it established a new standard for parabolic weightlessness flights by nearly doubling the duration of zero-gravity phases in comparison to previous aircraft. Three IL-76K aircraft were manufactured and used for medical experimentation, equipment testing, and cosmonaut training during the subsequent decade. Their flights not only improved the comprehension of physiological processes and adaptation strategies for space crews, but also enabled the testing of spacecraft systems 
and scientific instruments in relevant conditions, thereby bridging the distance between the laboratory and the space environment. In the late 1980s, an enhanced variant, the IL-76 MDK, was introduced as a result of this success, which was based on the newer IL-76 MD transport model. It was equipped with additional enhancements in avionics, structural durability, and cabin design that were specifically designed for space training. The IL-76 MDK, like its antecedent, was capable of executing prioritized parabolic flight profiles that represented not only zero gravity, but also lunar and Martian gravity levels. This capability has considerably improved mission preparedness by allowing cosmonauts to train for the various gravitational fields they will encounter during missions beyond Earth orbit. The two additional IL-76 MDK units that were built have continued to support the Russian space program for decades, offering continuous training, medical research, and equipment validation in microgravity environments. The IL-76 airframe's adaptable and robust design as a multi-purpose platform that bridges the gap between atmospheric flight and space mission readiness is emphasized by its sustained use. The innovative application of a transport aircraft in space training is exemplified by the use of IL-76 family aircraft, which have been transformed into a critical tool for preparing humans to endure and operate in space. These aircraft have facilitated the physical and mental adaptation of generations of cosmonauts and astronauts to the challenges of weightlessness by recreating microgravity through parabolic flight. Additionally, the capacity to replicate the gravity of the Moon and Mars paves the way for training that is specifically designed for future deep space missions. These airborne laboratories performed medical experiments that have enhanced scientific comprehension of human physiology in low-gravity environments and have directed the development of countermeasures for health risks associated with spaceflight. The reliability and safety of space equipment have been improved prior to exposure to the severe environment of orbit or planetary surfaces as a result of the testing of space hardware in these controlled yet realistic flight conditions. The IL-76's enduring utility and adaptability assure its status as a critical participant in human space exploration endeavors bound by the cosmos. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.